everybody, it's Michelle again, um, back with part three over the Cricut Design Space Layers Panel Functions. So um, on this series, I'm going to talk about uh, the Attach feature. We just covered Slice and Weld in parts one and two, so the link to those videos are below. I would recommend watching all of the videos only because I, I kind of do talk about little bits of each of the features in each video and kind of how they intertwine and connect. So uh, you may get the answers to some of your troubleshooting or other um, questions by watching the videos, even if it wasn't about the function you were specifically interested in. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and talk about attach. Let me um, hover over and show you what Cricut says attach means. It says hold images in position for cutting or adds writing to image later. So that first part, the holds image to position for cutting, that's the main function for attach is that you're telling the design space that I want you to freeze the position that I have this design on my mat and I want it to look exactly like that on my cutting mat. Because as a default, if I didn't do that, Cricut is going to try to use space saving and try to use up as little of the cutting mat as possible. Um, so like right now, let me see what this, everything is either an individual layer or they may just be grouped layers there is one attached set. So let me detach that so that you don't get, well, I'll keep it attached so you can kind of see the difference. Let's just go ahead to the preview, map preview. So right now, this is the attached set. So it stayed exactly in position the way it did in my design space. It was the, the diamonds are exactly in position just like they were but if I go down to the gray color, I did not have those attached. They were only grouped. And now they're all spread out because, like I said, it's just trying to save you space. It's only going to make you cut this little segment versus trying to take up a, a decent amount of room on the mat. And so if I were to increase my copies... This is going to, again, keep them all connected, and this is just going to give you a lot more little tiny triangles, or triangles, diamonds, to um, try to have to piece together, and that can be really tedious and make your project look a little bit sloppy. So that's why the attach feature is really helpful so that your design on your mat, on your design mat, is going to translate exactly to your cutting mat. So... Um, Grouping is often kind of confused with it because it looks like it does the same thing. Like this is grouped together, and even I could group. I'm doing get that right in the right spot. I'm gonna uh, select everything and group them together, and so now they're one big piece. It looks like they're not gonna move, but they're not attached. So it truly is going to do the exact same thing it did before where it kind of spaces out the ones that aren't attached. One thing you want to be sure of though, let me um, ungroup this, is that you're only going to attach like colors. So right here I've got two separate colors in this little argyle type design. I want to make sure, um, let me first group this into, these are all like separate little pieces. Let's group that just to make it a little bit easier on us. And now I can sh highlight that, hold my shift key, highlight that one. Now we're going to um, attach those. So we don't want to highlight everything and attach because what's going to happen if I were to do that is it's going to change all to a solid color. Because again, I'm telling it, hold this position and go straight to the cutting mat. Well, if you go straight to the cutting mat, you're only going to be able to do one color at a time. So you can't attach everything or else it, it's only going to be able to cut out of a single um, type of material. So you're going to want to attach them kind of in separate segments. Um, 
So the other function of the attach, like it says, is that it's going to, how did it word that? Writing, it's gonna attach the writing to, I don't know why that's not popping up. So anyways, we'll just insert another shape. Let me just add another diamond, keep with the theme. Make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change this to a lighter color so we can see. We'll just go with this yellow. Um, but the attach is the function when you want to, oh, there it goes, adds writing to an image layer. So you can add writing with your pen. You can go ahead and we'll just write out the word diamond. Say I'm making a little um, learning shapes um, book for a little guy. So I'm going to add this word diamond to the middle. And then I need to switch this to a writing. Go to my text edit, has a writing style. And then you just want to make sure this also says writing and it's not under like regular bold or else if it was on regular bold, it's going to cut it out even though it says has a writing style. So switch that to writing. So yeah, I just added writing to this layer, but it's really not added to it. It's just, it's not attached to it. So if I were to go um, to my map preview, it's going to give that writing its own separate map because you haven't told it where you want it to be attached to yet. So that's why it's super important. Anytime you're going to do writing, you need to attach it to the layer that you're going to be writing on um, or else it's not going to work. And the same is true for if you're going to add a score line for making a card or any kind of design that has a fold in it. 3D shapes and whatnot. So you definitely need to make sure that you're going to be attaching writing to whatever um, so that it can freeze that placement. Um, if you happen to have like multiple layers, like say I'm going to end up, let me detach this real quick. Oops, I'm going to move that on top of there. So this is like a multi-layered thing. And then say I had had this grouped just to make it easier to move around. If I were to put this on top, let me bring that to the front, put this on top and then try to attach it. I'm going to hold my shift, hold that. And if I hit attach again, everything is going to change to the same color. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. If it's a multiple layer thing, you just need to make sure you're going to ungroup your layer first. Um, oh, my writing like fell to the back. Let me find it. Arrange, bring to the front. Okay, so and then I would just want to make sure I'm only um, attaching it to the layer I want the writing to be on. So something like that. And now nothing changed, but it's going to write on there. So um, the other thing I want to talk about is sometimes you can use or maybe you should use attach instead of slice. They are very similar functions in certain ways. And I'll show you how. Um, let me detach this and get rid of that writing. So say that your goal is to, I just wanted to cut out a diamond. Like maybe you, you just want to have like a shape that is the diamond outline. So I just want to end up with this outline with a hole in the middle. So if I go ahead and a, maybe you would think I need to slice this, but something you can do instead is just attach. And they're going to be attached, and so it's going to kind of throw you off. It maybe looks like it's just two layers stacked on top of each other, but really it's not. You're going to be, these are two separate cut lines attached to each other. So if I go to my map preview, it doesn't split these up into a smaller diamond off to the side and then a bigger diamond. It's actually going to cut this out. So if I weed that out, I am left with just the diamond outline. So it kind of, it um, did what I wanted the slice function to do. So sometimes you should be using attach or it's just a little bit easier to use attach instead of slice. 
Um, and I think a lot of people don't realize that. That's something I kind of didn't really realize at first. I kept wanting to use Slice. And there's some images that, for whatever reason, especially importing other images from, um, like, the Internet, for whatever reason, the Slice feature seems to be a little bit touchy with that. So final thing I'm going to talk about is when you would use slice versus attach because you might think well why would I ever use slice if that kind of uh, um, you know it does the trick for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a project that I did. Um, I was making baby shower favors and I was creating um, let me show you the final product here. Um, I was creating these little tins that have loose leaf tea and then just these little tags on top. So I thought that was really cute saying the brewing baby kind of theme. So I um, have these, let's go back. So I have these circles that I cut out this teapot design out of the turquoise. And then I kind of layered the turquoise layer on top of the coral. Um, so they just kind of look like opposite. Let me pull that back up again. They just kind of are um, negatives of each other in a way, minus the scalloped edge. So um, I could have done the attach feature and it would have worked just fine. But the reason I did use slice is because I needed to see that negative space in order to make sure that the writing that I had within that negative space um, lined up correctly. So if I were to just um, attach these, it's it's going to cut out that shape, but I, I can't see exactly where that hole is. I can't quite tell if that writing is in the right place because this is attached to it. I, I don't have that negative space to see with. So I'm going to detach and highlight these together again. And instead I'm going to slice them. And I'll be able to move these layers off to the side. And then that gives me that little negative space that I can place on top just to verify that I do have my writing in the correct place um, in order for my project to work out. So that is a, a time when, um, you know, the slice versus attach is appropriate and, um, and you know, they can be somewhat interchangeable, but um, there are definitely times when you want to use one versus the other. So um, let's see, I, I think that may be it for the attach feature. So if you think of any questions or other things you've come across or maybe even other tips that you've noted that I didn't mention in these, just comment below, um, send me any questions below. I'm not necessarily an expert, like I've said, but I've done a lot of trial and error and seen other people's recommendations. Um, and it's just something that uh, maybe you just didn't think about and uh, I might be able to help or other people may be able to help. So you always should be asking. So um, part four, I think, is going to end up being the last part. I'm just going to combine the flatten and contour together because their functionality is, is somewhat not limited, but just you, you don't have a lot of uses for that. So I think I can cover both of those functions in a single video. So that will be part four, um, the final four. So just um, stay tuned. And until then, see you later.